In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually grow your garden without having to go out often, without having to go out to buy new plants always, uh, by doing a special method which, uh, which you can do back in your own garden. Okay, to begin with, just to show you that uh, I have this plant, periwinkle. Um, I've got one here. It's a bigger pot of a few of the periwinkles. Not bad, we have some flowers, so the kids love to look at the flowers. Um, on another pot here, I've got two periwinkles growing, inshallah. Down at this level, I have another one. Okay, starting to grow. Okay. Facing outside, I've got one more pot of periwinkle. Okay, and one more. Here. So all the small periwinkles that you see uh, over there, one and those on top. Okay, oh, sorry, that one. Okay, and the one behind me are uh, actually gotten from this mother plant. Okay, or what we call the stock plant. So as I've shown earlier, one method which you can do in uh, to grow or to to grow your garden without having to always buy new plants is by doing a simple trick which is called pruning well the technique called pruning actually uh, is related to the topic of stem cutting pruning is basically is actually a simple method for you to uh, trim your plants if you want to control their growth Okay, so without you realizing it, whenever you prune uh, a mother plant, uh, when you cut them off, what actually happens is that the same, the, the part that you cut, you can actually regrow them again, as what you can see over here, one, two, and three, okay, and these are, these are still growing. The one behind me, one and two, uh, successful uh, pruning products. The beauty about pruning is that um, although you cut off at this part, as you can see over here, you notice that two more uh, stems, branches start to grow from the left and right. So this is something beautiful which you, which you see in gardening. Uh, it means that even though you prune the plant, the plant doesn't die, it still grows. So you have no worry about your stock plant. Okay? And in fact, with every part that you prune, it can be used as a stem cutting, as you see over here. One, two, and three. So what do you need when you, when you want to prune? Actually for me, I do some simple scissors, because I'm to do. I try to go back to basics. However, if you have a uh, shears, uh, shearing knife, that be good because they will allow you to make a clean cut. Just by using a simple scissors, you can just cut off um, the top part of the plant. Uh, how much you should cut? The, the best advice is for you to cut uh, three note length. So that be, let's see, let's count. We have one, two, and three. So in fact, for this, um, branch I can actually just cut over here okay and we are good alright uh, you can you should actually cut below the last node the last leaf node okay and then trim the leaves that's what you can see over here I remove all the leaves and the plant just enter the soil so through pruning you can actually get stem cuttings which you can then replant them again into the soil and for, for you to grow your garden. In this video, I actually show you a very simple method of, of uh, stem cutting also in, where you don't need to use any uh, root hormones. Okay, uh, in, my, in my future videos, I will show you how you can actually use uh, root hormones to further stimulate the growth of the new plants. Okay, so hopefully this video has been useful for you. So. Have fun, enjoy your gardening, and uh, do share your success stories with me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.